right, what's up everyone? I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. Uh, I heard uh, the channel message I was receiving was, you're about to find out why it all went down. And then I heard, welcome to the big show, baby. Okay, so I don't know. I feel like it's going to be spectacular. We also have a lot of our galactic um, ancestors surrounding us at this time, Lemurian and Andromedan. Okay, Draco, guardianship. All right, so this is a number 10. So there's something completing here, some sort of cycle. There's a phase of life. Um, Delphinius, okay, love. All right, see, this is this Atlantean, Lemurian. Um, this is like mermaid energy. Where's this book? I don't, do I have these books? Yeah, I have. This is love and guardianship. Okay, I feel, and the golden apple. There's something here about gold, okay, and like the golden apple. Like what I was thinking was like something like uh, Snow White. Like I got a vision of Snow White. And let's see, so this is number 28 and 29. So there's something here, it's like the next steps are coming, okay? There's like um, a leveling up. Okay, we're going the wrong direction. All right, so let's see, 20, 28 is Draco. It says, you are precious. Know what you have to value and what your values are. Guard your own true self and your authenticity. Ensure your boundaries are strong. Protect your ideas. Ensure your property is safe and secure. Okay, so you're protected, okay? This is telling, you have protection all around you, okay? So th this is like confirmation of that. So if there's like something, like if somebody's like in fear of something being stolen or taken from them, like that's not gonna happen, okay? Um, uh, yeah, somebody's getting like, I just heard a foot on the neck. Okay. So like someone is being like, I'm hearing like proposed to, but like made an offer, like either you do this or this is going to happen and it's not a good thing. Okay. So it's like somebody's kind of being backed into the corner to do the right thing or it's kind of like, um, yeah. I'm being reminded of um, something that I read in, it's called an ominous, like it's an ominous warning, okay? Ra an ominous rapporteur or something like that, or, but I, I remember somebody uh, describing what this means like it's like somebody lurking okay um it's not like it's not an ominous warning okay let me hold on hold on because it's coming out of this book it's it's in this book um it has to do it which is the 12 and 12 of it's 12 steps and 12 traditions okay the ominous rap rapporteur or some rapporteur or the um the insidious insidious so i think it's under step seven hold on hold on hold on this was supposed to be fast but um all right i i, I don't know i'll find i'll find it but Basically, what it was broken down was, okay, they're talking about the disease of alcoholism, right? And then, um, so whatever this ominous, insidious warning or, because that's what, how I'm getting it. I, I don't remember the exact words. I will look it up before I post this video and I'll put it down in the description. But basically, somebody described it as, okay, like, you get a bill collector, right? So, like, the bill collector will call, they'll be annoying, right? They'll be like, you owe us money, like, when can you pay, blah, blah, blah. You can hang up on them. You can disconnect from them. You can block their call, right? But this insidious or ominous rapporteur, whatever, whatever this word is that's coming, that I can't exactly know, is that this is, this is the thing that becomes the fucking big-ass guy all right, that's like, comes and he's not knocking on your door. He's kicking your fucking door in. 
He's got, he's coming with bats. He's breaking both your legs. Okay. Like he's beating the fuck out of you. <laughs> like this is what somebody's like, somebody may be at a crossroads. Okay. Um, or something like that. But the choice is yours. We, God gives everybody their free will. So you're literally allowed to do whatever you want. Okay. So the next card was love. So let me just read the short passage of that. And I opened right to it. It says, know what you're looking for. If seeking a partner, be clear around your boundaries when it comes to love in all relationships, slow down, pay attention to how flow is being played out in your life at present. Be aware that by hanging on to a grudge or an imbalance, the clean flow to what you desire will be interrupted. If you place your happiness in the hands of others, chances are you won't be happy. Dang, guys. So this is a crossroads. This is definitely a crossroads. And I feel like for some of you, one leads you to this. It's like either way you're getting the truth. Okay. And the truth of like whatever you choose. And one, although it may be difficult in the beginning, gets easier with time. Okay. And then the other one, this is a time where you need to trust, you put your money where your mouth is, trust your intuition. You know exactly what to do. Peacock, perfection, recognize and live your beauty. Exactly. So I feel like this is whether or not you're going to let yourself shine or if you're going to shrink in order to make other people feel more comfortable. So there you have it, guys. That's the pretty freaking deep message and I'm going to find this thing before I post this and I will put it in the description box so you can get a better understanding of what I was trying to say. All right.